What's all this about? The report was commissioned some time back into the cost of maintaining Kirribilli House. Uh -huh. How expensive is it? <laughs> Who the f did that? I did. I'm sure you had your reasons? We're in opposition. We've got a tricky poll. Pam was tired. Mm. The hope was it might prove a little embarrassing to the government at the time. And we're going to stick the knife in. Well, they did the obvious thing. They've handballed it to a committee. Then everyone forgot about it. Except for the committee. So Philip's become involved and he has just submitted that report for tabling. When's it due? Tuesday fortnight? Yes. And we're concerned it could prove a little... Embarrassing? You mm. watch the opposition jump all over. I mean, it's so petty. The PM doesn't care about it. I mean, he'd live in a tent. Mm. Timing couldn't be worse. Did you see the front page of the telly yeah. today? Rent crisis? Jeez, they're pumping that up, aren't they? Meanwhile, the Prime Minister's Harborside mansion sits at his convention... I think Merv's got the idea, Tony. Well, he could have nodded. This report details the true cost of maintaining Kirribilli House. Mm -hmm. And? A little higher than originally thought. Uh, Ian, your meeting's about to Oh, start. yes. Sorry, I'll, I'll take you. All right. I'll, I'll, yeah, okay. Once people got the impression the Prime Minister owns more than one house, we're in trouble. Mm, it just runs away from you. But he doesn't own Kirribilli. Yeah, I know, but in their mind he does. He, he may not put out the bins, but, you know, it's obviously his house. Actually, who does put out the bins? Oh, they're specially picked up by an approved waste disposal company. More cost? Yeah. yeah. See, the people see the PM as having exclusive access. He can stay there whenever he wants. Only on official business. Watching the fireworks on New's Eve. Oh, well, these people are being petty. Tony, Tony, it's seen as a perk of office. It's hardly a perk, it's a bird. I mean, you've got... Arborists traipsing around your front yard. A lot of people mention mortgage rates. Yeah, that's a big link there. Uh, in their mind, they're struggling to hold onto a home. Yeah, meanwhile, this luxury beach house sits empty. Yeah, it's the luxury thing. People wouldn't mind if he stayed in a normal house. They'd be happy to. I mean, the man would live in a tent. But he needs it to entertain dignitaries and the important heads of... Breakfast radio shows? Saying it through your hand doesn't mean I can't hear it, mate. If you could just play down the luxury angle. Okay, then... so that would help. Oh, yeah. That's... Well, that's easy to do. It's not yeah. actually as big as you think when you go there. The only thing wrong with this report is that it undervalues Kirribilli. Timing could not be worse. There's a whisper there's another rate rise in the works. There's a whisper from Treasury? No, no, send a bit. They're, they run a market on it now. I'm sorry, the National Security Committee meetings had to be put back another 10. No, that's not a problem, Diane. Uh, Ian will be with you as soon as possible. I'm sure he's got more pressing matters to attend to. Let's just think outside the square. Is there anything we can do about the housing crisis? Yeah. What? Well, what we always do, blame the states. No, no, I mean something to cause a distraction from it, take the heat out of it for a week or two. Oh, I see. You know, some sort of announcement, like a grant or a summit. Uh, I reckon we steer clear of the subject. Yeah, I still like the idea of a distraction. I mean, let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater. Sure, the PM running buck naked through both houses. I don't think we're going to distract anyone here. You're right. Tony? Sorry, I'm just thinking of the PM running through the... Come on, Tony, we've got to get to the bottom of this. Right, what okay, are we going to okay. do? We have to sort out the PM sleeping arrangements in Sydney. But we can't have the PM looking selfish. No, we can't have that. He, he can't be seen to be looking after himself rather than the nation. No, I get your point. Mm -hmm. You know, there is one other possibility. Yeah? And we're really serious about heading off all potential criticism. This is sounding good. We sell it. What? We sell it. OK, we've just had an up-to-date evaluation. They're saying north of 80 million. We sell it and use the money to finance a reverse wedge. Like what? I don't know, a housing affordability fund or something. Oh, gee, that's clever. We'd be making a hell of a statement. A hell of a statement, that's But clever. is this the statement we want to be making? Well, think about it. 80 to 100 million I don't think it is. I don't think it is. But didn't you say that he didn't really like the place? He'd be happy living in a tent? Yeah, but he still wants to be able to use the place. He wants flexibility. Would he consider that... I don't think he's flexible about that flexibility. Thank you.